my dear friends fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers at the infant jesus shrine mangalore india and we warmly welcome you now to carmel light through which we will be meditating on the word of god today it's the monday of the third week in ordinary time the holy gospel according to mark chapter 3 verses 22 to 30 at that time the scribes who came down from jerusalem said of jesus he is possessed by beelzebul and by the prince of demons he cast out the demons and he called them to him and said to them in parables how can satan cast out satan if a kingdom is divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand and if a house is divided against itself that house will not be able to stand and if satan has risen up against himself and is divided he cannot stand but is coming to an end but no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man then indeed he may plunder his house truly i say to you all sins will be forgiven the son of men and whatever blasphemies they utter but whoever blasphemes against the holy spirit never has forgiveness but is guilty of an eternal sin for they had said he has an unclean spirit the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends today jesus declares that he has come to overthrow the power of satan and his kingdom hope you know that satan is real he is not a theory he is real and jesus has come to overthrow his power and his kingdom some of the jewish leaders reacted vehemently to jesus healings and exorcisms and they opposed him with malicious slander they attributed his power to satan jesus asserts that no kingdom divided against itself can survive for long kingdoms are established by the fidelity of subjects and the obedience of those under the royal scepter isn't it kingdoms are established by the fidelity of subjects and the obedience of those under the royal scepter satan jesus says cannot cast out satan how can a satan cast out another satan He does not rebuke his own servants on the contrary he helps his kingdom by placing this parable before the scribes jesus leaves them free to see that his power comes from god and not from satan simple logic my dear friends we are either for jesus or against him we are either for the kingdom of god or against it There are two kingdoms in opposition to one another the kingdom of god and the kingdom of darkness and deception under the rule of satan Now the second part of the gospel Jesus says whoever blasphemes against the holy spirit will have no forgiveness 
Now, why blasphemy against the Holy Spirit cannot be forgiven? Through the gift of the Holy Spirit, my dear friends, the Lord enables us to live a new life of love and freedom from slavery of sin. Blasphemy consists in uttering against God words of hatred, reproach or defiance. Jesus spoke about this sin immediately after the scribes and Pharisees had attributed his miracles to the work of the devil instead of God. There are no limits to the mercy of God. But if one refuses to accept God and his love and chooses to remain in darkness without accepting his will, then this person is like the Pharisees and scribes, rejects God and rejects the transforming power of the Holy Spirit that transforms us into the children of God. Got it? Why the sin against the Holy Spirit cannot be forgiven? Today, my dear friends, let us approach Jesus as the scribes, as the tribes of Israel approach David at Hebron, saying, Look, Lord, we are your bone and flesh. We can say, look by our baptism, we are your brothers and sisters, Lord. Look by our baptism, we are your brothers and sisters, Lord. Let us pray. O oh Lord, please reign over our hearts and minds so that we may never depart from your kingdom. Amen. My dear friends, today Rishon Raymond Barnes from Barkur and Sharanya Lobo from Kulshekar, Mangalore are celebrating their birthdays. Let's thank God for the gift of life that he has given to Rishon and Sharanya and we pray for their intentions. We also Rejoice at the uh, marriage anniversary, wedding anniversary of Frederick and Violet Mascarinis from Dubai, Lily and Francis D'Souza from Ranipura, and Stanley Pedrick and Dulcin Irene Menezes from Hirgan. May God bless them and their family life. Remember your own intentions and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, have a wonderful day, a day filled with God's blessings. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Stephen Pereira and my WhatsApp number is 91, that's the code, and the number 9481263229. I repeat, 9481263229. See you tomorrow. Thank you.